Hi guys, it's the Natural Equation back again with another video. It's Wednesday. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyway, I just finished co-washing my hair. So I'm still dripping wet. Let's see. I used my Aussie Moist Conditioner and I did a co-wash, which is just using conditioner to wash your hair. And I followed up with my Cantu Shea Butter Leave In Conditioning Repair Cream. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, that's why my curls are like extra, extra defined. I love this stuff. Like, whoever made this, well, we know who made it. Cantu. Anyway, I love it because it gives me great definition, as y'all can see. Alright, and so now I'm just going to finish my hair using my, y'all know what I'm going to use, dun, dun, dun. my coconut oil. I got my coconut oil. Mm -mm -mm. Melt it away. And I'm going to just rub that through my hair. And my hair is still soaked and wet. But I want to make sure that I coat my ends very well because that's what is always really dry. And you don't want to touch it too much because then it'll start getting frizzy. So now what I'm going to do, since I got my coconut oil on, usually do the lock method which is the leave-in which was my can to the O which stands for oil and my coconut oil I think I'm going to use my Aunt Jackie's curl a la as my cream I'm not going to use a lot just enough to kind of moisturize my hair um, just take that and rub it through my hair Again, just making sure to really coat the ends in the middle of my scalp where it tends to so, dry. I'm taking my handy dandy blow dryer with my diffuser attachment. And I'm going to use warm, not hot the warm setting on high. Alright guys, my whole head is 100% dry. So what I'm going to do now is just take my blow dryer again. I took the diffuser off. And I'm just going to put it on the cool setting and high, on high, excuse me. And this is just to seal in the moisture, okay you guys? So cool setting on high. Alright you guys, and you know what time it is. Bam! You know I'm not gonna go out looking like this. No. Mm. Not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is pick my roots. And again, remember when you pick, do not pick all the way through your hair because you don't want to disturb the curls. You just want to pick at the roots to kind of lift it and make it look fuller and bigger. And for my type of hair, I have, because I, I often get asked this question, well, what kind of hair do you have? I have 3C hair and 4A hair. 3C, which is in the front, which is a more looser curl pattern, and then my 4A is in the back, and that's where my curl pattern is tighter. So, for those who want to know.
is how I achieve my washing up. Curly fro. So yes, ladies. Here is the wash and go curly fro. And you see I went and did my makeup. Put on my little cute earrings. Nice little top. Alright, you ladies. If you like what you saw and how I achieved my wash and go, please thumbs up this video. I want to see how many likes I can get. Thumbs up, you guys. Okay? And also, comment down below and let me know what other videos you would like to see. I'm really interested in what you all want to see me do to my hair. So, yeah, comment below and leave that down there, okay, for me? And also, please subscribe. That way you can be updated on all the videos that I put up when they're newly released. One more thing, you guys. Also, follow me on Facebook at Natural Equation. Follow me on Twitter at Natural Equation. And follow me on Instagram at The Natural Equation, okay? And if you have any questions or concerns, you can email me at thenaturalequation at gmail.com, okay, ladies? Love you. Bye.